Hello everybody. It's been a while since I made a YouTube uh, video. I've been spending a lot of time making uh, ephemera and uh, then I came across a tutorial from uh, Carol's Recrafted Boutique and she made a, a lap book style journal. And then I decided I can use this kind of uh, construction, a lap book, uh, for an ephemera holder. So that's what I made. Uh, I still had a paper pad for many years and hardly ever used it from Tim Holtz. Uh, ideology and the paper pad is called Dapper. And why I don't really know. I think I bought it for uh, the scrapbook I was making for my son. Uh, it's still not finished so I'll be using papers in that too. Uh, it's a bit of a masculine uh, paper pad but there are uh, papers in it that I thought uh, would suit uh, an ephemera holder for a uh, man or a woman. I made this as a, as a closure. This is an... Uh, you put it under a mat so it doesn't get slippery. And I had a piece uh, left over and I thought that would be nice to put on here as a closure. And this, I think it still holds also. It hooks in here as a closure. And a little charm with a clock. Uh, the book itself not very big, uh, A5 size I think. Uh, it's 20 and a half centimeters by 14 or in inches 8 by 5 and a half. It's an easy uh, booklet to take on, a, on your holiday and then you have all kinds of ephemera to take with you uh, when you're on the road and want to journal. It flips open. I really stacked it with all kinds of goodies. I really like these dolls. All kinds of stuff from my uh, personal uh, uh, stash. Some old book pages. Beautiful coloring in there, on there. I'll just take one side. This flips open again. See if I'm still in the frame. Also here, a very old book page, it's very, very yellowed. A piece left over from the papers, always nice to use. Some small writing paper, also beautiful uh, coloring. And a small, like Tim Holtz always does, the 3x3, three three, I think it's, it is, the, the squares. Here is a pocket and a small pocket on top. In there is just a blank tag and a Tim Holtz card to be used in a journal. And it tucks right back in here. This is also a square from the paper pad. In here two tea dyed bingo cards of uh, bingo uh, papers. This is uh, a tag, a base tag I made from book page and coffee dyed paper. And in between is old scrapbook paper I had left over. So I'm trying to use it up. This is real vintage ephemera. French receipts, small receipts and the back is empty. Also beautiful coloring. And it tucks all in here, so there's a you have a variety of items to work with when you take it on a trip. This flips open this way. I made a belly band of three of the smaller papers in here. Also, again, old book pages, 
these are very thick and it's a bit of a different uh, uh, font. And I included just a tag from craft uh, cardstock to decorate. In here, I really like this. This note paper is uh, from, uh, I think it's Danish store, Sostrene Grene. And it's the date, the subject, notes. But I don't know if it really shows up, but it's a very beautiful green color. No, the light's not that good, I see. But it's, it's darker leaf green. So it's a, it's a beautiful color that suits a lot of projects. I glued the envelope, envelope on three sides, so you can, you can use it as a pocket. This is an old dictionary page. Also the old font on it. On this closure I put a key and it opens up and in here I tucked some uh, cards, also Tim Holtz journaling uh, room on the back and the small card it's from a digital and this also. So all kinds of different papers for someone to get started journaling and then you can fill it up with your own ephemera so this closes again and then this flips up it became <laughs> rather chunky here I made a double pocket in here is a very old uh, music sheet, vintage music sheet it's very thick paper, sometimes it's very brittle, but this is a very uh, sturdy page. I love using uh, music paper myself. Also a Tim Holtz card with lines. It's not really showing up. More like the writing lines when we were young. It tucks in the second pocket. This is a button card, but it's from an old paper pad from scrapbooking paper. And this is a used tea bag. I love using them because of the coloring and the texture it adds. Let's see if it wants to go back inside. <laughs> doesn't want to go. Now, nah. I'll put it in later. This is an unused tea bag. I just left it the way it is, but you can use it as a pocket. If it wants to come out. Yes. Also a little card from the paper pad of Tim Holtz. A small card. And behind it another one with the typewriter buttons on it and a faux. <laughs> it's not really focusing. Yes, a faux ticket. Just a bit of color. In the back is a large pocket. In there is a for postcard and French book pages. Ah, it is very thick, very thick paper, and it goes back in the pockets. The, the book pages are very big, it, they should be folded, so it's easier with a bit smaller ephemera. Closes back up 
and this side also a pocket with a smaller pocket on top. In here I have a sticker with the mushrooms on it and just a little cutout from the paper pad. In here in the larger pocket I included all kinds of uh, writing papers. This is uh, vintage. There is a uh, yeah, receipt and these are from journaling, notepads and these also with the dots for the bullet journaling, the squares and the lines. And they're in different colors for some variety. But it's just also to, sh to show all the kinds of things you can use when you start journaling or start, start uh, junk journaling. This opens up. This is a vellum pocket. I tea dyed, or coffee dyed, I have to say. In here are a lot of words. From These are from Barbara, 49 Dragonflies. Um, these I can't remember. <laughs> these are from Arnie Mays, I think. And these different ones, the small ones are from Junk with Steph. So all kinds of words to get started. In the back I have uh, bought a die for the specimen label so you can fold it and you make can, you can make your own specimen label. So I included that in the back and the words go back in here. This opens up with a little piece of uh, transparent uh, velcro. In here just an ephemera card from a digital. And here I made a scrappy notepad with some pattern paper, some music paper, uh, mathematics, some ledger. This is uh, hieroglyphs. Also some mathematics dictionary, Greek, and some wrapping paper. And of course, coffee dyed. And some beautiful marks. I made it this way so if it's used up, the one who gets this can put a new pad in there. Then the middle part. This is a vellum. Uh, yeah, I don't, it's not very clear. I'll come to that. Uh, a vellum envelope. On that I made two pockets with an angle. In there also a card from Tim Holtz with the bullet grid on the back. This is uh, a coin envelope I made from papers of the collection and in here I have all kinds of ephemera, sticker labels, labels Tracy Fox, labels from Musings by Nikki and all kinds of different pieces you can use to embellish a bit tickets, small labels. These are from the Digital Collage Club. All kinds of stuff to use and to give the person who gets this some ideas what they can use. And that tucks back in here. In the back, this is on the envelope there's a pocket in there is just a piece of writing paper, coffee dyed, and the tag, and I made it as a tuck spot, and in there also an empty tag to decorate, just a piece of the paper of the paper pad because the writing is so beautiful. 
a Tim Holtz tiny tag and a ticket field notes. So it all goes back in here. The ticket. So all kinds of places to tuck something in. In here, two different kinds of wallpaper. I kept it a bit um, grungy because the papers, the style of the papers are like that. So I included a bit of the grungy uh, things. This vellum envelope I just decorated with music paper and paper from the collection. And in here also a tiny uh, library card as an embellishment, a date sticker and some vintage, yeah it's not real vintage, it's uh, from AliExpress, uh, a, a French lyric. And in here there's a different kind of specimen card, you can fold it like this and then you have a rectangle and this die is from some pool. I thought that would be nice to include because specimen cards are so popular and they're so fun to make and you can make it with all kinds, with flowers, with an image, with birds, it doesn't matter, they all look cute. That goes all back in there. In this pocket, here I glued the, the vellum envelopes and the pockets on top. In there is a coffee dyed brayer paper. I love using that because of the structure. And a piece of leftover from the paper pad. And then an unused larger uh, tea bag and in there are also some labels just a few with numbers or text on them in different colors they go in here and then this tucks back in there so that completes the flip through of the lab book ephemera holder. I hope you liked it and maybe you want to try to make one because it was a lot of fun to make and it's such a great project uh, yeah, to have in, in your collection or to take with you on a holiday or a trip. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, I would love a thumbs up and maybe you can subscribe and you'll be notified when I have a future video. Thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye bye.